Salutations, crustaceans. I'm Lobster, and today we're going to be performing a pickup swap on our friend Bully the Kid's Hard Luck King's Bombshell. Let's do this. This is a Hard Luck King's. I never thought I'd be seeing another one of these on this channel, but here we are. This is our friend Bully the Kid's Hard Luck Kings, however, and he holds this base very dear, so I'm not going to trash it too bad. If you want to know my feelings on the Hard Luck Kings bases, or specifically the bombshell, go ahead and check out my reviews down in the description below. This is Bully's own Hard Luck Kings. Uh, bombshell bass, five string, and it is featuring an Audair preamp. This is an Audair four band, I believe, with a passive tone control as well. We are going to be performing a pickup swap, however, with some authentic Fender pickups. I got these pickups from a friend when I was uh, setting up a bass for him, and he just had this extra set of pickups that we ended up not using in a bass that we put together, so here we are. We have an extra set of pickups that I think are going to work very nicely in this particular bass. Before we do that swap, however, let's hear what this bass sounds like in its current form. You guys know what you need to do. Go ahead and pinch that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. And let's solve the pickups quickly. Here's the neck pickup. Loads of single coil hum. <laughs> And here's the bridge pickup. I'm not going to mess with the preamp too much right now with the stock pickups. I just really want to get to the swap, put in these new pickups, and then we can explore this base further. To the workbench! Here we are once again at the workbench. We are going to be installing a new set of pickups into Bully the Kids' Hard Luck King's bass. This is a bombshell bass with the wonderful inlays. Yep. Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and start by removing the control plate and removing the pickups. Oh, and of course, we got to remove the strings. Let's do that as well. Now I'm going to detach the pickup wires from the little screw down connectors here. Okay, because he has this uh, ground thing already set up here, I'm going to just splice the wire into this one. So let's take out the neck pickup. And do the same for the bridge pickup. With both pickups out, let's get our new pickups. Okay, we are back a little while later, so I found out some things about this Hard Luck Kings bass. Hard Luck Kings, even for their five strings, use a four string pickup size. 
So finding five string pickups in a four string housing is rather difficult. However, I do have a set of Bartolini's here, which are going to do the trick. So I think first thing we're going to do, let's install our bridge pickup, get everything mounted and take it from there. Okay, now let's go ahead and install our neck pickup. Oh man, I think that looks really nice with the pick guard in place. Now let's go ahead and wire up our pickups to our Adair preamp. We can put our battery back where it belongs. Okay, our pickups are set up on the preamp. Let's go ahead and uh, get everything installed here. Okay, looks like everything is installed. Let's go ahead and restring the base and see how this thing sounds. Okay, it looks like everything is complete. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see how this bass sounds. And we're back many moons later. <laughs> so the modding project seemed to have taken a slight turn. The pickups that we wanted to use did not fit in this bass. We discovered that hard luck kings in their infinite wisdom utilize the same body and neck and pickup cutouts for their four string and five string bases, or at least the bombshell uh, phallus bases. <laughs> so I actually had a Bartolini set of pickups, jazz pickups, that I thought were four string sets, but there were five string sets in a four string housing. And this base needs a five string set in a four string housing. So huzzah. That is what I installed in here, and let's go ahead and check out the finished result. The first thing you're going to notice, it's quiet. The stock electronics on the Hardle King, those stock pickups were atrocious. Were just so terrible and so noisy. Here's what this bass sounds like with everything centered. We have our EQ centered and our tone control at 100%. This is a four band EQ, mind you, a fully deluxe Audaire jazz preamp. <laughs> Keep in mind, these are the same strings that were on this bass when I got it a long time ago from Bully. So yeah, the strings are a little bit dead. I think a fresh set of strings would definitely liven this bass up. Uh, let's just listen to it one more time with these dead ass strings. <laughs> is definitely a much better bass than it was before, just with these new pickups paired to the existing Audier preamp that Bully tossed in here. Let's go ahead and solo these pickups really quick. pickup. <laughs> 
So yeah, this is a, a fully featured jazz bass now, even though it is a Hard Luck Kings. My, my favorite brand. No, they're awful. Don't get them. <laughs> so congratulations, Bully. I hope you enjoy these pickups paired with the preamp that you uh, included on this bass. Let me know what you all think about these upgrades in the comments down below. But I'd like to say that this is quite the successful project. I'm not going to go out and get my own Hard Luck Kings bass, but I'm happy that we were able to transform this one into quite uh, the slapper and just quite the player in general. It sounds great and it plays solid with a bit of a setup. And I think these Bartolini pickups pair so nicely with the Audair preamp. Again, let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Bullies Modified Hard Luck Kings, Bombshell 5-string bass with Bartolini 5-string pickups, and an Audair 4-band jazz bass preamp. And as always, until we groove again.